Hello viewers, welcome to the video tutorial about Oracle Real Application Cluster in uh, 12C database and in Oracle Linux 6.5 64-bit OS. Uh, in the series of uh, this video, uh, we have already completed our pre-installation task and in, in our earlier video, we have installed uh, Oracle Grid Infrastructure and now we have come to installation of Oracle Database and creating the database in the database also. Now that uh, our ASM disk is configured and our grid infrastructure is uh, ready, now we're going to uh, log into Oracle user in the node one. Remember we have uh, installed grid infrastructure from node one and this node one, uh, this installation has completed the installation in both rack uh, node 1 and rack node 2. Similarly, we are going to uh, uh, start installation from node 1 and we will have to log in to the um, server as Oracle user. So, let us do this. This is our terminal. We are in the Oracle uh, rack 1. And let's uh, we have this is the Linux uh, 12.1.0.2 database, and we'll now unzip and the other files. Now let's see what is there. Okay, database folder has been created. Let's go to database folder. Now see what are these. These are the instruction files. Clear. These are the this is the this run installation. We have to run this run installation uh, run installer installer file. But before you begin with your instruction process, you must you must check if the uh, best profile is changed accordingly. Okay, now we will check it. Let's create a put session again in rack one. Let's log in as Oracle. PI. If no, nothing is changed, so we will have to make changes here. Now let's log into. Uh, Oracle Node 2 uh, again with Oracle user. Yes, no changes been done here. Now we will make changes as it is written down here. Now we will make changes. This is for this one is for Rack Node 1. Sorry, for Oracle, this is for Oracle user and this is for Rack Node 1 and we will in the, we will paste we will append this value into Okay, you see, this is rack node one. So I am the host name is rack one dot testlab dot com, and here SID is also Warsdale one, and unique name is Warsdale. Okay, now it is done. Okay. Now make it active. Now activate. Bear profile is bear profile is activated. And again, for rec 2, we will have to copy from, it has to be rec 2, and version 2, and save it. Now copy. Now, 
now insert event see <coughs> rack to the test lab dot com and all are same and here or our cell or uh, Oracle SID is or cell two Oracle base is this one and Oracle home is this one now save it and activate the best profile okay it's activated now we will we have just we had logged in uh, in this session we'll have to now let's see if it is done eco oracle sid sorry or still one and okay now let's move to tmp software database now ls now we'll run the run installer run installer okay now let's begin with our installation Now we will only install the software first and then we will create the database in our next step. Now create the software first and install the database software first. Now you see uh, the option is single instance database installation, Oracle real application cluster database installation, and Oracle rack one node database installation. We are going to install in Oracle real application cluster database installation. Okay. Now you're selecting Oracle Real Application Cluster Database Installation and then Next. You see, these are selected. Now SSH connectivity for oh, the provide the password here. And now set up the passwordless connectivity between these two nodes. This is a very crucial step. If this one is fails, now everything is very bad, bad situation. Yes, it is success. It's a successful one. So now we can go to next step. Okay, now next. Enterprise edition, of, of course, it is enterprise edition. You see, Oracle Base and Oracle uh, Home has been already been selected from the best profile we provided. So, next. Okay, next.
let's fix it run the fix okay fix is complete in node 1 now in node 2 if you wrote okay fix is in done now okay now to check again These are the issues that is actually uh, will not cover anything. One is clock synchronization. We are not using any uh, time server, so uh, it is not a problem. Uh, and we are not also uh, not using DNS. So resolve.conf integrity uh, fails. No, it doesn't actually matter. And the scan name is actually it's not an error. It's a warning. So we are going to ignore these messages and then next yes and install now installation begins it will take a little while Now uh, we'll have to run this script in both the nodes as root. Remember, we'll have to complete the script in node one first and then in node two. Okay, but first we'll have to run this script in node one. Okay, now we will run this to node 2 also. Node 2. Okay, script run is complete. Now click on the OK button. Yes, our installation is complete. Now we are closing the wizard. 